application of the makeup and the manner of the selection to the WRA citizens, to the WRA, which is, which is a citizen's participant, I can't even talk, citizen's petition, and the lead petitioner is Brenda Ekstrom, so I would ask that she be let in, please. Sextrum, we can neither see you nor hear you. I don't you know go. why you can't see me. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? We just yes. got your voice. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and I'm on my daughter's laptop, so you could see me. I did have it there a minute ago. Just a minute. Okay. I'm going to have a child help me because I'm incompetent with this stuff. <laughs> yeah, well. There we go. There Hello. Go. Thank you. Hi. Good evening, Ms. Ekstrom. How are you this evening? Good, how are you, Jim and Whiteside? I'm fine, thank you. Um, we will ask you to present your um, article, and then through me, each of the board members will have an opportunity to ask you questions or make comments, and you will thank be- Thank you. Um, I think that the um, Nota Notos, um, if, it, if it taught me one thing, it um, taught me that, um, there's a lot of people in this town that are passionate about the direction of the town. Um, and so the current redevelopment authority um, has been in, going for a few years. And um, I mean, no disrespect to anyone who's on it because three people that I'm talking to are on it. <laughs> um, but I look at it and I see that um, as selectman as a former selectman i know how busy you guys are and i know um as a former selectman how busy a town administrator is and how busy a town planner is and i think that this is a great opportunity to get the people in this town involved in the direction of the town to take it away from people who have such a full plate as it is that um, it seems that it doesn't, a lot doesn't get done. Um, and, um, and I think that we need um, uh, wider, more voices, more diverse voices and a direction where if we're doing election on based on redevelopment, um that people can actually give what they think we should be doing where we should be going with things and um have it um you know have people vote that yes we're in favor of this or no we don't like these ideas so i just think it should be changed that's all thank you um for the audience that may not have read the petition could you um explain what it is that you are recommending it be changed to I'm recommending that it be changed to three appointed members and four elected members. So that you would you would um, elect uh, for five year terms, because I do know that when you're dealing with um, with real estate and things like that, things don't turn over in, in six months or a year. So um, that four of them will be elected and three will be appointed by the board of selectmen. So you will still have a say, you'll still have, um, you know, you'll still be able to, um, you know, give your opinion and it would, and it would carry, um, you know, uh, a weight on the board because it would be three members 
um, but that the elected people, which would be direct representation from the town, that they would have something to say. Thank you. Mr. Slavin, do you have any questions or comments, sir? Um, for me, you know, I've been kind of vocal that I wasn't very happy with some of the things the WRA had been doing and a few things there. So obviously I'm a little biased with this initially, but I do have some initial problems with some of this. Uh, when I talked about re reorganizing, I wanted to have a five member board or whatever, basically, and people that would be qualified either through uh, developers, uh, bankers, real estate people who do development, etc. Uh, I have a lot of experience uh, with the redevelopment authorities, especially since SERPED has the RESC, which uh, basically works with the, with redevelopment authorities in the 27 communities. And they normally would have as an executive director, and the membership is all made up of professional people in that particular type of field, you know, as, as it goes. So I'm a little concerned that we have, excuse my explanation here, because I'm obviously in the same position, a popularity contest of four people being voted on. Doesn't mean they have any skills in what they're doing. It's just the way it is there. And I'm a little concerned on how that's going to work because the redevelopment authority is really a, um, it's almost like a, it's like a, normally a 501c3. It's a separate entity from the town, actually. And it needs to have uh, a group that's really focused on what they're doing. Um, it's nice to have people who volunteer to want to do it, but the bottom line is if they don't have the skills, and this does require quite a few skills, it's really not going to work. Well, um, if I may, if I may. Excuse me. Uh, please let me, finish. Excuse let me finish, Brenda, then you can go. Oh, sure, honey, thanks. Um, Thank excuse you, me, if you will be going through me. I'm sorry, Madam Chair. Thank you. So I mean, these are just the things, you know, the basic, the basic out of it, I don't have a problem with, it's just that, I'm concerned of the makeup of how we're going to do it. Thank you. Sorry, Brenda. Thank you. No, um, I'm sorry, you, Madam Chair. I, 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 I apologize. Okay. Do you um, choose to respond answer? to him? Do you thank choose you. to respond to him? I do. Please, thank you. Um, I, I do understand where Mr. Slavin is coming from. Um, however, and again, no disrespect because I was on the Board of Selectmen, but we have on the current board, we have two members of the Board of Selectmen, and, you know, there is really no qualifications to be a, a member of the Board of Selectmen. So we have made it so you have two people with no qualifications, a planner who I have the planner and the town administrator as ex officio members, non-voting members. We would like their professional expertise, but not necessarily them telling us what to do with our town. That was why I did it that way. And as far as um, the elections, elected members, if the Board of Selectmen choose to put on, I, I had put recommendations in there, um, business, I think real estate and environmental or something. Um, I don't have it in front of me. Um, but if the board chooses to be more stringent with what, who or what they want on it is fine. I don't think it's a popularity contest. I think if somebody comes up and has no idea or decides, you know, I, I, you know, I just want to be on it so I can be on something. Um, I don't think people would vote for them. I think, believe me, if anyone, if any of you got up running for selectmen and said, I want to put a casino on a horse track up Glen Charlie Road, you wouldn't have won. That's what these people will have to be doing. Talking about what they want to do with Recovery Road. Talk about what was going on when people were thinking about Littleton Drive. So um, I think that trying to say, oh, because it's professionals, or we're, you know, what we have right now is certainly not anything greater than what the people in this town could do. And if it's a businessman who wants to participate, then by all means, run for the position. Thank but you, I think that the way it is now, thank, I don't think- Thank you, Ms. Ekstrom. Thank you. I will just remind you that I was a commercial banker for 23 years and I was a senior vice president. So, and, and you excuse were on me. Issue. Excuse Madam me. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Muniz, do you have any questions, sir, or comments? Uh, yeah. Um, Good. As the redevelopment authority is structured now, it's employee centric with two um, 
select persons and, and to employees. Um, there's a reporting order, and um, I cannot I cannot participate in deliberation um, because we it, it would become a quorum of the selectmen as it's set up now. So when the redevelopment authority is meeting, I can go there and listen, but I really can't participate. So there's, there's an issue, there's a concern for me there. Um, I think there should be more resident um, non-elected officials uh, being represented. And I do agree, and, and as, as I think the article states, you know, someone from real estate or development or finance um, would be the preference of people appointed, hopefully, by the Board of Selectmen. Um, so, um, and as, as I think we don't have a lot of discussion about the direction of what we'd like to see the town go as a board with our representatives on the um, redevelopment authority. And uh, I just think it would be good for having more input and uh, a broader um, perspective and view. Now, um, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Meadies. Mr. Tropiano, do you have any questions or comments, sir? Uh, okay, so uh, when we created CEDAR, I was on that board that started the process. And actually, I believe that uh, Ms. Expert signed into uh, signed the, uh, the final documents that made CEDAR exist. Uh, CEDAR did absolutely nothing for years and years and years. No accomplishments, zero. And I remember watching the whole thing unfold and feeling how bad it was because the reason why we did Cedar was because Gus Yankopoulos kind of was running his own little world down there and everybody was complaining and there was all kinds of stuff going on. And I don't know if you guys all, you probably you don't, and don't remember this, but I do. And uh, it, was, uh, it was problematic. So we started to set up this, this new Cedar, so to speak. Um, and uh, it, it, it did nothing. It, did, it really accomplished zero. And in fact, um, you know, basically it became an organization that ran a grant and that was all it ever did the entire time that it existed. And so we, uh, we then redeveloped uh, a new thing when I came on the board this time uh, and created the, uh, the, um, the board that we have now. And I think uh, in the first year, they accomplished more than CEDAR accomplished the entire, I know it did, because they did nothing. So I know they accomplished way more. Uh, the stuff got done. And I think the whole point of having uh, officials on there, especially like Derek and um, Derek and um, um, the uh, planner and so on, being professional, really works well. Because, you know, look, they know the direction that's important. They they know what's going on. They they keep their ears to the ground. They're always involved and so on. And then the board gets to direct it a little bit. It comes back to us every time. Yeah. Whatever's on, it comes back to us. We decide whether, in fact, not just us, town meeting decides what's going to be the purview and so on and so forth. And I, I just can't see going back to another board and especially another elected board. Are you kidding me? I mean, I, you know, this, this is crazy. You know, they, everybody um, has had this thing where they want to take more and more authority and more and more away from the board of selectmen. Well, you know, it's not the majority, by the way, it's a select group of people who just don't happen to like the selectmen and like the direction they go in. And they go out and they try to vote against us every time and they, and it doesn't work. And, you know, of course, we come back and we do what we do. And we look at things as a broad picture, very broad picture, because that's what selectmen have to do. I don't know um, how anybody else did it, but it's a broad picture. It's not what this group wants to do or what this board wants to do or what this group wants to do or what this. All of that is taken into account and we try to do it in a very broad picture. OK, and I think, um, you know, we've done a hell of a job. I think uh, Peter, one heck of a job as the chair on that committee, getting stuff done. I mean, look at Littleton Place. Look at these kinds of things that are coming. They never built one thing. 
Not one. Not one thing. Uh, I was disappointed like you read about, about how bad Cedar came out. It just didn't work. I mean, the grant management, yay, you know? It just didn't work. Madam uh, Chair, excuse you? me. No. Um, I, I just want to say I was not involved with CEDA. It was before my time. Well, you the were EDIC and CEDA, okay, I was you. not involved. I, I excuse never me. met Young Excuse Hathaway. me. If you continue to interrupt, I will have WCTV remove you from the participants. So well, if I may, Madam Chair, yes? I'm not going to sit here and have him continue to lie. I, did, I was not me. involved. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Fabiano, are you through with your comments, so, sir? So if you, you if you fall, then you weren't paying attention. Mr. Fabiano, are you through with your uh, comments, sir? I am through with my comments. I, I, I like the way the board's set up. I think it works well, and I would like to see it continue to be that way. Thank you very much. Mr. Teitelbaum, do you choose to comment or question? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember who was on the board of selectmen back in the day when the CEDA was created. Uh, and, and, and I knew quite a few of the people who were on there and, and they were good people. Uh, they yep. were well-meaning people. Uh, but for whatever reason, and we had, you know, there were issues in the planning office occasionally at times we had a part-time planner, uh, but, but for whatever reason, and, you know, I don't want to be accusatory here. Uh, Patrick is right that not a lot got accomplished. Uh, they came before us with some internal issues, I want to say, back in 2017. And they were having issues between members, and they wanted the selectmen to get involved and, you know, do this, that, and the other thing. And, you know, one of the things that I said at the time was, you know, I wish, you know, we didn't have to have you coming before us with these issues. I wish you were coming to us with a redevelopment strategy. I wish you were coming to us with a redevelopment plan uh, that you uh, wanted us to put on a town meeting warrant for town meeting to vote upon. And by the way, there is public, that is the public input on that. We can't just jam a redevelopment plan down anybody's throat. We don't have that ability. We've got to go to town meeting. We've got to present it. And typically when you have a redevelopment plan, you've got zoning components in it. And once you throw zoning components in it, now you need a two thirds vote. And if a two thirds vote isn't enough of a, a reflection of the townspeople's will, I don't know what is. Uh, regarding what we do, uh, right now, uh, we have two town employees on the board, full, full time employees. I know we're special employees, but I mean, leaving us aside as elected officials, uh, that's the town planner and that's the town administrator. I see in this article that the town planner and the town administrator are, are not asked to participate, but they're actually commanded to because of the use of the word shall attend the meetings. The town administrator works under contract for the town through the contracts that we approve with him as, as the board of selectmen. So, so town meeting can't tell the town administrator really to do much of anything uh, when it comes to uh, his own actions. Uh, and with, with regard to the planner, he's a union employee. So, you know, it, it, it's doubly bad there in terms of, of what was doing this. When we put this together, it was with the willingness of the town administrator and the town planner to participate. Uh, rather than feeling overburdened, uh, they were delighted at, at, at the opportunity to do this. Our meetings are held in public. Uh, we have media there. Uh, when we've gone to town meeting, uh, we've, we've had asked for votes. We asked for a vote for Littleton Drive. Uh, we asked for a vote to create the authority. And, and uh, given that the vote wasn't, wasn't unanimous, but it was by a strong un, a majority, uh, I think the public had confidence that, that, that this would be the right direction. Uh, when we asked for the Littleton Drive property to be assigned to us, we said we're going to get at least 40 units of senior affordable housing out there. Now, we would have liked to have done all senior affordable housing out there, but unfortunately, the state doesn't let you do that with, uh, well, I shouldn't say that. They could let you do that uh, with land, but then you go to the absolute bottom of the tax credit list and you never see the financing. You're in it for five, six, eight rounds before they even think about you. Littleton Drive right now has received financing for the senior portion and is in the process of getting the state financing for the uh, non-senior portion. 
this actually is something different that the state has done with that because typically look they know how excuse me i will ask you to be removed i will have you removed from the meeting if you continue to interrupt thank you mr titlebone uh, yeah so anyway um <clears throat> dhcd is on our side in this because they knew of our strong interest in the senior component out there they almost never approve financing for a two-phase project where the senior where, where the senior uh, component uh, and approve the senior component first. Uh, we, we made a compelling presentation for that. With, with regard to your concerns for the busyness of the town administrator and the town planner, again, they embrace the idea. And they actually do the work. And this is a point that I don't think has been considered. Uh, all of the redevelopments around here that follow the, the typical 121B thing where you got four elected, one appointed, and that, that's the usual setup. And that's that's the kind where you just vote a town meeting to do that because you don't have to go to the legislature because you're not doing a special act. Uh, just about all of them hire a professional director. Now, in a city, of course, you know, a, a professional director and, and a staff, but in a town, you know, they even have a professional director in there. So we can't compel the town planner to do this. We can't compel the town administrator to do this. So where's the money going to come from to give this this uh, this new outfit, uh, you know, professional direction? It's going to cost money. Uh, and that's just a simple fact. Um, and, and I'll be honest with you, I'm proud of the accomplishments of the Redevelopment Authority. We reached out to many people in the community and put together a redevelopment strategy that targeted four areas in town. Uh, it was uh, Main Street, Wareham Village. That's the top priority. Uh, we are currently uh, working with Trisha Wirtz, uh to gain input and thought on what goes on there uh, because we feel that's important. We decided not to go ahead with a rezoning article or to support a rezoning article because we wanted to pull back and, and sort of get the sense of the public and also to explain uh, the sorts of things that uh, private investors, which you need to do any kind of uh, redevelopment. The town doesn't have the money to just pour into, you know, neighborhoods and blighted areas. Uh, so we've, we've got her working on that. Uh, we just got a grant to do uh, the urban renewal plan, which is going to be at the heart of any redevelopment of Wareham Village. So we're making things happen. And so, you know, obviously I'm on it. Uh, and wouldn't support it. But even if I were just, you know, a member of the Board of Selectmen, I wouldn't support this because I know what happened for 14 years and I know what's happening now. And, you know, input is great, but results are greater. And we're getting results. And I don't see why anybody would want to mess with it. Thank you, Mr. Taiwan. I have no additional comments other than because I feel pretty much um, the same as most of my peers. Um, so I will ask um, if any of you, no, you've already had your shot. Um, may I have next... one more comment? Um, may, I, may I have one more comment? I, I would just like to say, um, first of all, Madam Chair, when I was talking about the experience of people, I meant no disrespect to you. I'm sorry if you took it that way. Like I said, I was on the board too. And I think there's a lot of people okay, out could there. Could you speak to the, you have. Okay, then to the article, I would request that you and Mr. Teitelbaum recuse yourselves from the vote, seeing you people are on the board, you have an interest in it. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Um, Ms. Ekstrom, thank you very much for doing the presentation this evening. Um, will you be sending us any additional information as Ms. Sandigate was? I would, no, no I'm not. Okay, no, thank, thank you very much. Then I um, will have you leave the meeting. We will vote at the end of the meeting on these articles. And next we will be discussing